So first, I'm going to be introducing to you Ms. Rashida Hodge. And last year, I asked her how she came to NC State. And she had this great story and how she called up. And, and she ended up speaking on the phone to Clarence. I think I saw Clarence in the room today. Uh, and that was a critical phone call. And that phone call meant that Rashida came to NC State instead of Georgia Tech. I remember. I remember that story. And, you know, she's done many things. If you look at her professional career, she's having an impact at IBM. Talk to her about IBM Watson. Talk to her about artificial intelligence, which is changing our world. The world as we know it is really not going to be the same in, in the next 10 years. But Rashida also has made some contributions back to the university both of her time and financially. She's on the College of Engineering um, Advisory Board. Uh, she's also a member of the ISE Advisory Board. And she has contributed financially in major ways to support scholarships for students and the building. And you can read about it in our, our latest magazine and in the College of Engineering magazine. So there are so many reasons that we are grateful that Rashida is one of our ISE alums and excited um, today, and I, I ask you to join me in um, inducting Rashida Hodge as our uh, first class of outstanding young alumni. Good morning, everyone. Well, thank you, Julie, for that warm introduction. I um, really appreciate it. As many of you know, NC State and the ISC department is very special to me. So it's really an honor for me to be here today. It truly is. As much time as I spend at NC State, today is a special day. So I do have some thoughts that I would like to share with you about this moment and what it means to me. As I thought about what I wanted to say, I thought about the words success and significance. You know, oftentimes we stretch and push ourselves for the benefit of our future selves. We hope to give our lives meaning by being as successful as we possibly can. But I recently heard a message that challenged me to think about the difference between those words I told you, success and significance. It challenged me to think deeply about why, my why. Why do I show up every day, day after day, and work hard? The message brought up many thoughts and resonated with me even more at this very moment. Success versus significance, it's a big difference. Success is about choices and decisions for your benefit, while significance is about choosing a life that benefits others. Over my 15 years of working at IBM, I've had many moments of success, awards, accolades, travel, opportunities, on and on. I can tell Tony is an ex ibm or he's been to 78 countries. I'm at 52. <laughs> However, today is different. It feels much more fulfilling. It's an absolute honor for me to be recognized with this award, not for my success, but for what I consider my significance. I came to NC State 20 plus years ago, not too concerned, quite frankly, about the difference. I came from a small island from St. Thomas, US Virgin Islands, 32 square miles. Most people can't locate it on the map. And I was focused on how to maintain my scholarships, how I was going to pass tough classes. And I wanted to make sure that I would have a little bit of fun along the way. Because my mom, who was a teenage parent, who when I told her I wanted to be an engineer, didn't even know what an engineer was, she said, when you go to college, you are going to college. But I did sneak some fun in there. But I could not imagine how much meaning and experience and depth NC State would actually bring to my life. Though it was here that I found the support and love from a very thriving community of professors, many that are here in the room today, staff, and friends, it was also here, unfortunately, that I had my first encounters with racism. So 
something I never encountered growing up in the Caribbean. But in this triumph and trial, NC State provided me with the tools to create both that success and that significance. In the early stages of my career, there was a burning passion in me to make my success meaningful. Given that I was an engineering endowment scholar and recipient of other US Virgin Island local scholarship, I was afforded the opportunity to gain an education debt free. I was blessed. I was able to go be the engineer and make my mom proud. I knew I wanted to make a similar contribution in the lives of other students. And I created an endowment. My endowment, The Real Hope for Next Gen Engineers, provides need-based aid to women and people of color studying industrial engineering. As some of you may know, I was able to expand the reach with a very large gift to the Fitz and Ruler Hall with the help of an anonymous matching donor for which I will be forever grateful. To that donor, and they knew exactly who they are, thank you. You are an angel, and you show significance. That gift really allowed me to further my significant story. It would have been much easier for me to make this contribution once I had a lot more money, um, reach higher pinnacles of success, or let's be frank, right, donated as part of a trust when I died. But it was important for me, and I hope it will soon become important for you to establish significance now. To show others, including young alumni and our students that are here in the room today, that we too have a role to play in contributing to and supporting the environments that shape us. We can't wait until the perfect moment or the perfect circumstances to act. It will never come. We must embrace the fact that establishing our significance will take sacrifice. Sacrifice that means letting your reach be much larger than your grasp. And let me tell you, creating significance has not only been about writing checks. A much bigger part of establishing my significance has been about showing up. It has called me to be present and take space in environments where I may be the only person in the room that looks like me. It has been smashing through ceilings of boys only doors of prejudice and discrimination that were meant to stop me from pursuing my dreams. It has meant showing up and out as an example for others who look like me and letting them know you belong right here. And finally, pursuing a life of significance has meant encouraging others to, pr who, to pursue halls of fame in your hearts rather than in hallways. It is my hope that the fame we seek is first in how we treat others in our relationships, our families, in our communities. That those who know us best and most will speak of our significance rather than our success. Not for what we did, but for who we are, who we are as individuals. I am where I am because of so many people that helped me along the way. And it's great to see many of your smiling faces in this room. But I do want to thank someone very special, and Julie mentioned it, Clarence Smith. Clarence, can you please stand? <laughs> when I was 16 years old, I called NC State to ask questions about the university, about the industrial engineering department, about North Carolina, I had never been. Clarence took my call. He took several calls from me. I called many schools. They did not take my call. I was not important enough for them to talk me through that process. 
but Clarence did. When I started my first IE class, and I thought I was not going to make it, and I went to Clarence's office, he kicked me out. <laughs> he said, you can do this, and why don't you come back when you have first convinced yourself? Because I am already convinced. If he only knew he was already living a life of significance, which is why I am here today. So Clarence, thank you. I am significant because you first saw that I was a human and I was significant. Thank you. For those of you that know me well, I'm a mom's girl, I'm a dad's girl. Both were not here to join me here today. But some of my loving friends are, and I do want to give a special thanks to my dear friend and fellow Virgin Islander and fellow NC State engineering grad and fellow outstanding young alum, Chisa Brooks, who has been there for me since our very first encounter in Owen Hall. She's always there like she is today, so Chisa, thank you. So thanks to all, thanks to all my friends, thanks to my family, thank you to my professors, and for all of you who truly believe in me before I believe in myself. And I hope my thoughts today has been able to inspire all of you because we all live a life of significance, whether we know it or not. <laughs>